Hello everyone, welcome to Just Learn Seville. Well. This tutorial contains hydraulic and the first question is hydraulic mean depth versus hydraulic radius. We will know what is hydraulic mean depth and what is hydraulic radius and difference between them. Definition formula Hydraulic mean depth Hydraulic mean depth is defined as the area is divided by top width. You can see in this figure this hole is the area of the irregular cross section and this is the top width when we divide area is divided by top width we get hydraulic mean depth and hydraulic radius means area the same area is divided with the weighted perimeter this is the weighted perimeter and we get hydraulic radius this is the irregular flow cross section and now we are making the equivalent cross sections according to hydraulic mean depth and hydraulic radius so this is the hydraulic mean depth this is the hydraulic radius and the area in all the three cases are same so when we divide area with with respect to t then we get h yes. so width of this rectangular cross section becomes t here you can see when h is multiplied by this t we get area when h is multiplied by t we get area so for this regular flow cross section this is the equivalent section in terms of hydraulic mean depth now equivalent rectangular section in terms of hydraulic radius area will be the same as stated earlier in all the three cases so what will be the width now r multiplied by p gives the area so this is the r and this is the p means weighted perimeter weighted perimeter so we measure this length and make a rectangular cross section of width p and a is divided by p gives the r that is hydraulic radius now where are they used hydraulic mean depth and hydraulic radius where are they used hydraulic mean depth is used in the fraud number we know fraud number equals to b is divided by root under gh this h means hydraulic mean depth which is a is divided by top width and energy relations in open channel in open channel you will see energy relations summation of the kinetic energy potential energy and z so there you see wherever you get y that is the a by t and now hydraulic radius while calculating while calculating frictional head losses we will get this hydraulic radius in hydraulic radius you know formula f l v square is divided by 2 g d but this is the final derived formula while deriving formula you will come with a is divided by p so for that you will put d is divided by 4 for circle that is hydraulic radius means area is pi d square is divided by 4 and for perimeter you will put pi d so pi and d is gone and you will be remaining with only d by 4 so you will put d by 4 for there so this is hydraulic radius where we will use, be using in frictional head losses now what happens in rectangular channel for this hydraulic mean depth and hydraulic radius in hydro in rectangular channel you will see that h is equal to the depth of the flow because this is our rectangular channel and this is supposed b b or say top width and this is our h this is area now when area is equals to for rectangular channel area is equals to b into h h is our hydraulic mean depth now when now when area is divided by this top width we will get h so in rectangular channel hydraulic mean depth is equals to the depth of flow now hydraulic radius r does not equal depth in rectangular channel but approaches depth as the rectangular channel becomes wide you know r is equals to a is divided by p a means b into y y is the depth of flow is divided by now weighted perimeter b plus 2 times of y 
one y here one y here and this is b weighted perimeter and b into y would be the area now when b becomes very 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 wide so that this can be neglected then p and b cancel and remaining would be y in rectangular channel approaches but approaches depth as the channel becomes very wide very wide means b becomes very big so that this can be neglected and we will come up with y so this is hydraulic radius now significance of hydraulic radius r is equals to a by p we saw it earlier this is suppose rectangular channel and if r is higher if r is higher so p will have to be lower it means less amount of water will be in contact with the channel this is the contact between the surface of the cross section and the channel this is the free surface so less p b gives higher r and less p means less contact of water and this surface and less contact means less friction when less friction the water faces when they flow resistance to the flow will be less thus higher r gives better efficiency it means r is high then efficiency will be better thank you for watching subscribe like share and if you have any further question comment in the comment box below